I sound creepier. Okay. I want to be a birdie. <laughs> okay. New game. Yes, 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 yes. So, we are on the doctor's storyline now. We finally got Sakya. He lives with us in our cave, and I won't accept another ending. That is my true reality. But this one, I want to see how creepy the doctor actually gets. So I go to the infirmary. We meet the creepy, crazy doctor bird. Nobody's here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no present. Because we rely on those a lot this game. There's no birdie here. Yoda. No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? Feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been here much before, unlike Ryota. Everybody knows this. Best game ever. Only way to find true Yes. The only way to find true love. I'm perfectly healthy. Oh, unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Ah, uh, I guess. <laughs> yep, definitely gonna be sponsored soon. Get high, get very high. D -d 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 Doctor? I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want, hmm? God, you're weird. <laughs> No, thank you. Bye. Bye, shoe. Partridge is Uamine Shu, school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has bad reputation among student body. Like everybody. Like he does things to the student body, like dissects, and we don't know. Every birdie knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with a lot of weird things. So is pigeons reality or is humans reality? I think, unfortunately, pigeons is reality? I don't know. Oh, why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Finally, you're out of that e den of evil. Ryota's already gone home. I need to join a club. Alright, so this is the part that makes sense. Uh, okay, no, this isn't the part that makes sense. Stop. Okay, he's yelling about pudding, which is usually fun, but I don't want to read out his absurd... His absurd insanity about pudding. Join the infirmary staff. Alrighty. Electives. I need to. Okay. So we're going for the eye ending. Your eyes are very pretty, or whatever, or such beautiful eyes you have. Uh, all math every day. Yep, so we gotta do math. Okay, well, I was trying to make sure that that is his, uh, true ending. I don't know, but I'm along for the ride. Okay, yeah, you'll get to see the, the creepy teacher one. Naki dozed off. This is nothing new. I do a lot of math. Salutations, you yeah. So sweet of you to worry for me, but no, I'm the second in command here. You are. I never would have guessed. I couldn't be happier, mon ami. Mystery is the most powerful of aphrodisiac. Anyway, our job as staff is to check the medicines and clean up in here. Normally, I do that, but today I've got some stuff I need to take care of. So, could you handle this mess for me? Of course. Oh, and don't touch the desk. It's the doctor's personal area. I'll take you somewhere nice in return. I do. He's such a ladies' man. He flutters out the door. He just asked me out. Anyway, cleaning. <laughs> cleaning time. Some of these drugs are a little weird, no matter how you look at it. 
It's really an infirmary. Feels more like a human or rather avian experimentation. The desk drawer is open and there are files sticking out. Yeah, neaten it. Neaten the desk. Touch it. Putting the files back in order should be fun. You again. I was I was cleaning. Doctor, when did you I just got back, but oh my. We do have sticky fingers, don't we? Gotta touch the no-no square. <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> Why you gotta phrase it like that? That's not it. Sakazaki asked me to clean. Clean? Oh, I see. You're on the staff now. Yeah. Did he say anything about going near the desk? Yes, sir. Please do be more careful next time. Curiosity killed the cat, among other things. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I like the, the hesitation that it gave me to clicking that. Let's never do that again. Break isn't over yet. I wanted to talk to you. Your friends are all here, why not talk with them? Do you not want to talk to me? No, that's not what I meant. You're a funny girl, Osaka. <laughs> that's so awkward. Yeah, no, we're human. Oh, yeah, no, Red, it's even better. We're human. But they're birds. Let that sit in your mind for a little bit. Think about how any of that works. Oh no, yeah. Oh, oh no is right. Wait, no, I haven't said anything yet. And so I took a nap with Mr. Nanaki. <laughs> wow, all right. I wonder if he has some sort of illness. I hope he's okay. No, he's going through a divorce. You leave him alone. Oh my God. Today's an elective day. What should I do? I should attend math all day, every day, forever. I wanted to hear your voice, my voice. Yes, you sound like a snuffkin. <laughs> and, um, don't tell me you came here just for that. Would it be bad if I did? You're even stranger than I had thought. I'm fascinated. How oh, I'd love to experiment on you. Sadly, I'm busy at the present. Please go elsewhere. Okay. Snuffkin's so cute. <laughs> I got kicked out. I guess being told I'm interesting is a step in the right direction, or is it? Okay, so either way, I was gonna get kicked out, but I think I chose right. Like, it's not in here, so it's probably an irrelevant one. But I think I chose right anyway, because at least now he thinks I'm interesting. The math. More math. All the math. Hanabada. Hanabada. I want to do a super fun thing. Of course, this would get the doctor, by the way. What should I wish for? To rule the world from the shadows. No, not conquer the world. Well, yeah, conquer the world, but rule the world from the shadows. I wish to take the reins of power through clever schemes and rule the world from the shadows. Oh, hello, is that you? Hi, Mr. Nanaki. Don't read my thing, please. I am going to not let you walk me home again. No, thank you. I'm gonna go play games, because that's their default for if I turn you down walking home alone. How will integral calculus help us in life? Hard to say. It may never help you at all. They would worry about walking home alone. <laughs> yeah. Well, calculus is educational candy. I'm not prepared to accept this. I'm not to prepared to accept any amount of math as educational candy. I use some math. I hate math. I am not a math person. Super not a math person. <laughs> And in the classroom took longer than usual. I need to hurry to be in person. Yoko, what is it? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Nothing much. Just have you heard from the seven heard of the seven mysteries of Saint Pigeon Nations? No. 
This school even has its own horror stories. Do tell. Yeah, well, there's one that says that sometimes students will disappear in the infirmary only to show up again as food in the dining hall and quill pens in the school store. Sounds like an urban legend to me. It does, but Dr. Owamine is pretty suspicious. Be careful, okay? You go to the infirmary a lot, right? Has he ever done anything to you? That's horrifying. This is a scary question. No. But, well, you're a girl, Yoko. I'm a little worried. Also rude. That's true, I'll be careful. Sure. I've been one to overthink things. Anyway, I can't help keep Yuya waiting. Excuse me. Yuya and the doctor are talking about something. Did you really think I hadn't noticed? You sure look like you woke up. You sure look like you woke up on the wrong side of the nest. What are you talking about? Shouldn't have to explain. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I have told you never touch my desk, haven't I? What makes you think I ever have? This doesn't look too good. Um, Yoko, there you are, mommy. Can can back me up on this. We were in the courtyard together until a few minutes ago. She said she was going to the restroom, so I should go ahead. I only just got here. In other words, I haven't had time to go rifling through your stuff, doctor. Right, Monami? What's going on here? It sounds like the doctor suspects Yuya of having searched his desk while he was out. He came straight from the classroom to here, so Yuya is obviously lying. Oh my god. I'm gonna, like, end up sending Yuya to his death, it seems like. I was in my classroom. I don't even know what's going on yet. I can't... Uh, I can't just lie through my teeth. No, I was in my classroom until just now. Ryota was there too. Yuya is lying. Shit. <laughs> well done, Mr. Osaka. I'm glad our new assistant is so astute. What a pity, Yuya. It would seem that you are somewhat lacking basic truthfulness. I think we need to have a long, serious discussion. Alone. That's... <sighs> um, I think I killed Yuya. I'm sorry, Mr. Saka, but could you leave? This is important. I killed somebody. I got kicked out again. Yuya's face looked pretty bad. Dr. Wamine praised me, but what on earth's going on? I killed somebody! Short, I can't clean from right all. Cleaning? Well, I will be here just about every day the building is open, but there isn't any real need for you to come to. There's nothing I could do to help? No. Was there anything else? Um. Missing students? I kind of wonder about what Yuya said last week. Maybe I'll test the waters. Um, sir, I heard sometimes students disappear after coming in here, and who told you? Now, one in particular, everyone's talking about it. <laughs> kind of like a school legend or something. Do you believe in urban legends? What? No, not really. Just, it would be kind of cool if it were true. Then we should leave it at that. <laughs> Nobody in particular. Nobody. No. Mm-mm. It to everybody. No, every birdie. Every birdie's talking about it. I'm not killing another birdie. <laughs> It'd be cool if it were true, then we'll leave it at that. <sighs> that would... It would be cool if you were to disappear. Or something like that. All birdies must make way for love. This is... We're gonna die. This is this is psychopath murderer speak right here. I'm gonna die. Very well. I shall accompany you. In exchange for your left arm, of course. My left arm. Oh, would that pose problems for your to your active and youthful high school lifestyle? 
I shall accept the lock of your hair instead then. Um, okay. Yep. He's a pervert. Yippee. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's you. Is this any hour for a high school student to be wandering about? Huh? There's mud on his wing. Little of this city's nocturnal entertainment is to be admired. Perhaps you should go home. I'm going to... I'm gonna fucking see what he's doing. He is so weird. He buried the student. He buried Yuya. Yuya's dead. He killed Yuya. Um, sir? Yes? What are you doing out here? Nothing. Nothing at all. I was on my way home. I just happened to pass by. But if you were just walking around, how'd you get all muddy? I had forgotten that primates retain their keen vision dark. Informative, indeed. Thank you, Miss Chosaka. Good night. W wait, you didn't answer my question. Throwing something away. Huh? I was disposing of some things I no longer needed. You killed Yuya. <laughs> you killed Yuya. <laughs> Littering is bad, Doctor, especially if it's bodies. I mean, at least they're biodegradable, but still. Doctor, good afternoon. What is it this time? I found a some dude. I found they say someone, but they wrote it wrong. Torval things to say with our love so near. <laughs> I found some birdies student idea. I thought maybe you'd know what to do with it. Isn't that something for the staff room? Why bring it all the way here? It was closer, and they started printing out tests in there already, so I'm not sure I can go in. There's no need for excuses, young lady. Leave it there and get out, please. Yes, sir. Wait, Miss Tosaka. Where did you find this? Um, it was on the staircase between the first and second floors on the south side. I see. Oh, it wouldn't do to have someone finding it and asking questions. I am indebted to you. He killed... He, he killed a bird. And I don't think it was Yuya. <laughs> Yuya is next, but he killed a different bird. He's a doctor, then he must make a lot of money. he be a provider. Real bird seed winner. Oh yeah. He will be the, uh, bird sing- the bird seed bringer. But he's also a psychopath. Like, we're gonna die at the end of this playthrough. Who is that all about? He certainly is as strange as ever. I thought he'd be cooped up in the infirmary doing something boring today. Yeah, because he's always doing something boring alone in the infirmary. With nobody to watch him. Maybe I should ask him to eat lunch with me all... Yeah, sure. Invite him out to lunch. And avoid him like the plague. <laughs> I like that that's an option. I really want to hit that option, but we're in this for the long haul and we're going to die. So invite him out to lunch. I have to catch up to him first. Now invite the plague to lunch. <laughs> You go this way? Did I lose him? Where'd he go? There aren't even any stands to set up here. And there's nothing in the pamphlet about anything outside the main area. And the only thing back here is the incinerator? <laughs> oh no. Who goes there? Doctor, why do you say it like that every time? I was following him up until a minute ago, and now he's behind me? Oh, it's you. Give me sure or give me death. Or give me both. I think we're getting both. I think the other one, actually, we get both. Which would be awesome. Stalking is a bad habit, young lady. Yeah, you would know. 
No, I wasn't. I was just wondering what you were doing. Is it a crime to walk about someone's own school? But there's nothing back here. There's the incinerator. Well, why? I was placed in charge of the science club's activities today. I just came back here to get rid of some things that were left over. Unneeded things. Things? A hunter-gatherer instincts are telling me to change the subject. Oh, right. Sir, would you like to walk around together? The haunted house is... No, thank you. At least let me finish inviting you before you refuse. As I said, I'm supervising the science club, so I do not have time for fraternization. Okay. I... And so I returned to the cafe, scared off by his obstinance and my own survival instinct. Kasaka Hyoko, if only I could tell how she plans her actions, I could deal with her fairly easily. How troubling. But why? No. Don't. Don't kill me. I am scared. <laughs> yes. Where's Sakazaki? Didn't he come yet? He won't be here today. Or tomorrow. Or the day after. Um. What do you... He's been absent for almost a month now. I never realized I'm better hurry. Yeah. Did something happen? Who knows? He was never a very good student. No one's surprised to see him playing hooky again. You know something about it, don't you, sir? Me? Of course not. I only know what happens within this little room. That somewhat alluring, slightly evil smile on his face, all I need to know. He had a hand in this. Yeah, he killed him. And the student with the ID. And soon us. You do know something. Sleeping pills. Huh? What are you standing around for? You're his replacement. Now. Count our supplies and mark down anything we're low on. Yes, he had a wing in this. Which is weird. I don't think that counts as an explanation. You you skipping school? I never thought of him as that type. He hasn't even called me. Why did you decide to become an assistant here, Miss Tosaka? Because, um, I... <sighs> right, I like you. Is that so? What a coincidence. I think I'm starting to like you, too. Though, I can't say I thought much of you at first. Cool. He likes me. My heart's racing, but I can't tell if it's love or fear for my life. Probably the latter. I wonder where Yuya went. He's dead. He was burned in the incinerator, or he was buried in the courtyard. Whoa, there's even a letter. I greatly appreciate your hard work in the infirmary. I hope this suits your taste. Merry Christmas. He has really nice handwriting. Let's see what's in here. There's a big box and a small one. Inside the small box is a quill pen. A beautiful real white bird feather. <laughs> it's Yuya. It's from Yuya. We're holding a piece of a bird. He gave us what we really wanted. No, that's not. <laughs> oh. oh no. That was only the small one. I don't know if I want to open the big one. <laughs> It looks like a roast chicken, or maybe a turkey. I'm not sure what people eat on Christmas. I didn't even get an option in that. I'm just here now. Okay. I do not recall summoning you to duty today. What is it? The doctor seems to be engaged, sweet and braced, with a stack of papers at his desk. There is no option. <laughs> No. <laughs> We're in way too deep. 
He didn't even look at me, and from his voice, he wants me to leave. Do you know what day it is, Doctor? February 3rd. Glances at the calendar above his desk and then returns to his papers. The anniversary of the first successful human embryo transfer. Okay. Really? <laughs> of course. Just two babies had been successfully grown before then. So, what did you want? Or, oh, so what did you want? Were you hoping I would transfer you to an avian ovum? <laughs> we are going to be a birdie. <laughs> He's going to make us a bird. N no, I, I have to be... <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I'd have to be a really sad girl to be fantasizing about bird eggs in the school infirmary. It's legumentine, sir. You give beans to the boy you like. So here, you're giving these to me. Yes. He finally looks over at me, but his expression is still no. It's changed to something else. These are quite elegantly packaged. Yes, I got the most expensive ones for you. So these were sold to you as some sort of luxury item. I see. Yeah, something else. <laughs> Such a thing would never have occurred to us if we had lived long ago. To think that we live in a society where price is completely disconnected from the amount of nutritional value. Is this a roundabout way of saying that the beans aren't worth their price tag? The value comes from the fact that they are expensive alone. Fascinating. I shall experiment on them later. No, you're supposed to eat them. The nutritional value and appearance aren't important. The important part is the fact that I gave them to you today. You gave me beans that anyone could get with money. Worthless. Rejected. Your resistance only makes my maiden heart burn stronger for you, Doctor. <laughs> In that case, I c I'll bring you beans I grew myself next year. Just you wait. The year is almost over. Okay, I was like, is that gonna end it? Now it's a challenge. Yeah. Challenge accepted. I will make you like me. The year is almost over. It feels like it only started yesterday. This is the last day I have infirmary duty as well. Today is the day we die. Doctor's not here yet. The infirmary is quiet and peaceful as always. The orderly rows of medicines are the neatly made be. Huh? Something stinks in here. It's coming from the bed behind the curtain. I'm scared. Oh no. The sheets are stained brilliant red. At the foot of the bed sits a wash basin. It's liquid pink with a stack of scissors coated in blood and feathers in the bottom. The blood on the bed is still wet. This is the students who disappeared after going to the infirmary. Surgery was necessary. <laughs> Yuya. That mysterious smile the doctor gave when I asked him. I have to get out of here. I have to tell someone. I need to report it. To the police? Anyway, I need to get away. I need to get out of here before he... You're early today, Miss Tosaka. You're rather pale. Here. Why don't you lie down? The doctor... This blood? Oh, forgive me. I just finished dismembering another student and hadn't cleaned up yet. Please, pay it no mind. He didn't even try to deny it. He That's because we're dead. We are next. He doesn't need to deny it if there's no one to repeat it. The door's locked. Going home so soon? It won't open so hot. <laughs> Indeed, it won't. After all, there are so many bad little boys and girls who try to leave before their examinations are over. 
like you. Doctor, you... You really have been cutting people up and using them for your experiments. You really need to ask that. After all, you even helped me. Helped you? I, I would never. Don't tell me you've forgotten already. Just at the start of the semester, you helped me destroy a little Lepidin. You brought back the ID card from one of my guinea pigs. I suppose I dropped it by accident. You really helped me out then. We can't leave things like that lying around now, can we? Then Yuya, what did you do to Yuya? Oh, I thought you'd figured that out already. He's in here, Miss Chisaka. In here. <laughs> the doctor reaches over and lightly strokes my stomach. The... The big one is... Huh? Looks like a roast chicken or maybe a turkey? I'm not sure what people eat on Christmas. It's still warm. Of course, technically speaking, he's long gone since been digested and absorbed into your body, so we don't really know exactly where he is now, do we? Yeah, it's the, the fucking flashback. That you can't be- no. No! How did he taste? I was worried he might be a little tough. I did so regret not having a better bird to send you. It simply wouldn't do to have you throw him out. That was you, yeah? Aha! That's a beautiful face, Mr. Saka. I have longed so dearly to see that face. You could tell from the start that I was dangerous, couldn't you? And yet you came to see me again and again. Very assertively. No, I just had to come for infirmary duties. Was that really it? You knew I planned to kill you, and yet you came anyway. Are you sure you didn't have feelings for me, perhaps? No. I want to say, but my tongue is like lead in my mouth. Maybe it's true. Maybe somewhere deep inside. I love the doctor. I am afraid that I have room for only one love in my life, and that is research. But it would be cruel to ignore your earnestness. I put much thought into how I might reward you. Just cutting you up would be so would be a terrible pity. Maybe your love can change him. Maybe. Maybe at the last second our my love can change him and make him less crazy? At least not kill me. He's a he's a work he's a little rough around the edges. He's a diamond in the rough. It, it can work. We can work this out. It's fine. I know he's going. It, there's blood on the table. He fed me one of his species. He just dismembered a student. Um, it's a work in progress. He'll be okay. So be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be, it's it's fine. <laughs> Ah, just cutting you up would be a terrible pity. And I think I want to keep you by my side. Forever. Honestly, really wanted the deaths to be heavily implied, but then talk the whole time. Oh, fake. Yeah. No, it's just actually real. It's creepy. He's going to kill me. I know he's going to kill me. So why can't I move? And so... This is what I decided. I shall preserve only your head. It will be easily stored. Of course, I can't let such a rare sample slip by, so I will remove your brain. Why can't I pull my eyes from his? From the neck down, I shall cut you up and study you thoroughly. Don't worry. You won't go to waste. I will make sure to examine your insides most intimately. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Thanks. Ew. That's, uh... 
Suddenly, he has a cleaver in his left wing. How? How does he have a cleaver in his left wing? <laughs> cleaver magic. You have chased after Death Siller most diligently. I suppose you're too afraid to speak now? For a moment, my vision shifts to the ceiling, the wall, the floor. My eyes rolling wildly. The world twists, soaked in red. And so my life came to an end. We have an emergency report from the Pennington Project. The researcher we dispatched to the school has stolen a highly classified sample and fled. He took sample HB087, the human head. We have not confirmed that he is armed. We have sealed off the area. He seems to be acting alone, so our retrieval squad should take care of everything quickly. Please, help yourselves. The cheese Danish are rather good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have these brutes no mercy. Though, I did agree to this from the start. We seem to be in a bit of a pickle, Mr. Saka. They suddenly asked that I give you to them. And to think that until now, they considered you worthless. I was the one who preserved you so beautifully. You like the jar, do you not? Do you know of the mere exposure effect? It states that one can become attracted to things simply through repeated contact with them. A conundrum indeed. I think perhaps I've felt new emotions since I acquired you. We have built a little... We have but little time left together, I fear. I do not like the idea of handing you over to them, so I think I shall break you once more. Of course, I do not wish to force you into double suicide. I shall break this glass only after confirming your feelings. You loved me, did you not? Oh, okay, so it's a Doki Doki Literature Club bullshit. Sure. Alright. Yep. I think I should choose yes. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> hmm. I, I guess I'm gonna go with yes. I think yes is okay. Thank you. I am... Um, so glad I got to kill you. Good night, Mr. Osaka. Oh, this is the happy couple. But I am going to hop off tonight because I gotta make food. I'm hungry and dinner is important. All right. Peace out. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for all the subs. I appreciate it. Bye.